Hi everybody, I'm back again and I want to show you one of the uh, new products uh, that Do Crafts have brought out. It's a A5 die by X-Cut and it's got these gorgeous little um, gardens and houses and children on swings and things and it's just really, really, really pretty. So I'm going to show you how to make a layered card with these and I've just cut out three out of the four so I've used both housing designs and the garden and you can see me there just thinking about how I'm going to try and layer that up um, and I've just cut them out of plain white cardstock. I haven't used any texture or anything um, and now I'm getting out my Do Crafts Artiste pens um, to colour them in. And uh, I started off doing that by scribbling some uh, of the pen on a pa uh, packaging. And these are watercolour pens, so you can just add the uh, water in afterwards, which I'm doing now. Um, and then I'm picking it up with just a really tiny little brush um, and starting to paint it on. And initially I added the water with a bigger brush, you can see there on the side of my cutting mat. Um, but I found that was just giving me uh, too much water. Um, so after that I just decided I would scribble it onto the packaging and then just pick up a tiny bit of water with the tiny brush um, and just add it in that way. And, and you can use a water brush for this technique and a lot of people do, but I just don't find them, um, I just don't, don't like to use them. I don't find I get as much control about the amount of water that I'm using if I use a water brush. So I tend to just use a really tiny paint brush. The water brushes I've got are quite chunky, um, <coughs> excuse me. And they don't have um, they don't have a really fine fine uh, end to them, so I just don't use them that often. Um, so you can see me dipping my paint, tiny paintbrush in the water, and then just um, colouring in my my die cut with the paintbrush. Um, and then once I had done all that, I got out my coloured pencils and um, I added in some shading. So I'm just adding in shading along the left hand side of the um, every kind of thing, so the tree, the house, the flowers, um, I'm just adding them in, a, sort of a little scribble of shading and then um, I'm coming back in with my little paintbrush afterwards and I will just, these are watercolour pencils, so I will just kind of blend it into the um, sort of watercolour look that I've already got and this gives a really nice, um, kind of just a little bit more depth to the um, colouring um, rather than it being really kind of washed out and watercolour. You can see me there looking for my brush. Um, I'm a very messy crafter. I don't know about you, but I just, by the end of the time I've been crafting, I just find that my um, I'm working on a tiny, tiny little sort of A5 space in the middle of my desk and the rest of my desk is just covered with the products and mess and paper and things. Um, so I just dabbed a little bit of water off there and then I'm just blending that in. I'm not adding anything else to it. I'm just blending the pencil in. And then once everything's coloured, I'm thinking about how I'm going to back this. And this is one of the papers from the uh, Paper Mania Capsule Pigment Collection, which is new. And I just, oh, it's amazing. I love it. I've got an unboxing video on my channel if you want to have a look at all the other products and um, see me do a sort of flip through the um, paper pack. So I'm just going to back my die cuts with this gorgeous uh, sort of dark blue I really like the kind of ombre effect that it gives and it's um it's quite sort of watercolory so it, it looks like a brooding sky it's quite cloudy looking um and I'm just chopping the top off because I know that I'm not going to need that bit um because it's going to get covered up as I layer these one on top of the other and you can see me there trying to work out I wasn't quite sure when I started this card how I was actually going to do it um, I got the inspiration from another demonstrator on the do crafts page um, and she just layered it all up with the same paper but I wanted more of a kind of gardeny garden and sky kind of separated look so I wasn't sure whether I was going to make the the kind of bottom thicker border I wasn't sure whether I was going to end up with that being on the blue paper or whether I was going to use a different paper to um to sorry to <laughs> to cut it and to kind of stick it on the bottom sorry I was trying to thinking about my words then for a minute I was just kind of thinking what am I actually doing um I'm just sort of trimming the double-sided tape so I'm mounting it all on double-sided tape and then um I really wanted that ombre look 
So I'm just peeling off the back there with my craft knife because I uh, bite my nails so I haven't got any nails at all so I can never get the backs off these, these silly things. Um, so I'm just picking it up with my craft knife and uh, sticking it down. And then I use my craft knife um, to uh, cut it all out. So there I'm like, am I going to... Am I going to use the blue? And I'm marking off where the border is um, very fastidiously, marking off where the border is um, to try and make sure I've got enough space to layer it up. Um, but in the end, I don't end up needing that space um, because I'm going to put green paper on the top of that and make it look like grass. Um, and I don't tend to use scissors or a trimmer. I just um, use my craft knife to cut things out. Um, I don't seem to be able to get on with a trimmer. I don't know what's wrong with me. Everybody else is like, trimmers are the easiest things in the world, but I just, no. I always cut it wonky. It doesn't matter what trimmer I use, my cuts are wonky. And I like, you know, I butt it up against the end of the thingy and I try and make sure it's really, really straight. And in the end, it's wonky. So I've just decided that trimmers are not for me. And I just use the grid on my cutting board and a craft knife and a metal ruler instead because um, that way I actually get a straight cut. Um, yeah, so a bit of a, a bit of a trimmer um, malfunction in, uh, in this household. But hey ho, everybody uses different products, don't they? <laughs> don't know why I can't use it. Um, so once I've backed all the um, all the sky. I'm now looking in my uh, paper mania. This is the capsule collection again. You can see all the gorgeous sort of pigmenty, inky papers. And I'm looking for something that um, I could use as kind of grass. Um, and I just kind of flip through. And I thought about using some um, vellum, but um, then I realised you'd be able to see the bottom of the uh, layering which I didn't want so then I found that paper and this is like a gorgeous kind of dark bluey tealy green um, in strips and <laughs> to be honest like they're giving the thumbs up there because it actually like was perfect the strips of green on that paper um, they were almost exactly the right width for the gap that I left on the bottom of my um on the bottom of my uh, little sections so I decided I wanted to kind of make it quite uh, rough and ready so I just tore it really carefully um, along the along the green strips and then I just stuck it down along the bottom and this gave a really like beautiful grassy kind of rolling hillside effect and it it just ended up looking really really nice I was really chuffed with myself about this it's not often that I uh, make a card and go oh yeah I actually really like the way that turned out but um, in this case I really like the way that turned out um, it was great so I'm just kind of cutting off the excess there um, and then um, I will do the same process again and just rip um, along the next sort of thicker section of paper. And what am I looking for here? What am I looking for? Thinking, thinking, thinking. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm probably looking for something. Oh, well, there I go. Um, it might have been the cat or maybe the baby. There's always a possibility. Um, so I'm ripping along the edges there. Sorry, I was a bit off camera there. Um, and then again, just sticking it down uh, to make this really nice um, kind of grassy hillside effect. And the, the double-sided tape I'm using is, again, a Ducross product. They also own the um, trade name Stick It. Stick It? Stick It? Stick It. Um, and uh, it comes in different sizes, which I love because, you know, sometimes you need a thicker size if you're sticking down a really big bit of paper. It's always better to have a thicker one. But for this size, um, it'd be really good uh, for this is the three millimetre I'm using. And if you're listening, do crafts, I'd really like you to bring out a um, I'd really like you to bring out a three millimetre. I'm using six millimetre, but I could do with a three millimetre if that's OK. Um, so if anybody from Do Crafts is watching, three millimetre double sided tape, please. Um, that would be really useful because um, I just I hate cutting it in half and it, it makes my scissors all sticky and that annoys me. And then I have to end up cleaning my scissors and uh, I just uh, don't have time for that. Um, I'm a busy woman. I need to just get on and do it. Um, so I'm just trimming off the bottom there again 
making it all look nice and neat. Um, and then I've got my card all ready to um, layer up, as you can see, and I'm just kind of working out the position of where I want it to all go. And um, I was, at this point, I was thinking I was going to layer it up onto an A5 card and make it quite a big card. But when I kind of started putting it all together, I realised that it was actually going to fit on a, a square card base. Um, and the card bases that I have from Do Crafts are uh, five and a half by five and a half. Um, and it just uh, ended up fitting really nicely, which is, you know, that pleases me. It really pleases me that um, it all fits really nicely and neatly onto a, a standard card base. Um, and here I'm just opening a roll of foam tape because I just wanted to um, pop it up. So you've got kind of the first layer that's flat and then the subsequent layers are going to end up being popped up one behind the other so you just get that little bit of dimension so it really does look like you've you're kind of looking at a scene where you've got things in the distance and things closer to you uh, I think I actually did this bit backwards and I should have put the the bottom section uh popped up and then the uh top section that I'm using should have been flat on the page and I did it the other way round so it looks like it's actually coming towards you rather than going away from you if that makes sense um but you know it didn't didn't really matter it still looked really good um in hindsight you know if i was going to do this again then um i would try and do that bit the other way around so it, it looked a bit kind of more sensible but yeah like i said it didn't really matter and this is by far the most intricate card i think i've ever made i don't normally go for really really involved cards it's normally for me it's kind of quick and simple cut it out stick it down done um so there you can see that that now fits really really nicely and i'm looking at what size it is and and there you can see me standing up and getting out a card base and going yay it fits it fits just about um but you can see I've got those white edges, kind of white borders. So at this point, I decide um, that the best thing to do would just be to hack at it with a pair of scissors. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, I do know what I was thinking. I was thinking that the craft knife probably wouldn't go through the foam tape. And um, I would use my scissors and just hack at it. And what happened was that I got a really stupidly wonky edge. And it looked really 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 bad it was so wonky it was so obviously wonky it was like there's no way on earth that I'm going to be able to leave it um, looking like that because it just looks dreadful and I was making this for a demonstration as well and it just was just horrendous I don't know what I was thinking at the time I was just like I'll just do it quickly um, and yeah didn't work out so then I try and trim it up a little bit more with my scissors and that just makes it worse um, and in the end I use my craft knife to cut it out and this is the final product so I hope you um, really like it and um, thank you very much for bearing with me and um, I'll see you again soon bye